subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Good morning students. Welcome to another concept from the sexual reproduction in flowering plants that is uh, apomixis and polyembryony. So this is uh, the last concept of the this chapter. So what is meant by here apomixis? In Greek language Apo means without, mixis means mixing, or marriage. That is meaning of here, apo means without, mixis means mixing or marriage. Apomixis, the term was introduced by the Winkler. Apomixis term was introduced by the Winkler. It is a form of asexual reproduction. Apomixis is a form of asexual reproduction that mimics to sexual reproduction. This one. It is a form of asexual reproduction that mimics to sexual reproduction. Imitate the sexual reproduction. It is a uh, imitate the sexual reproduction. Next one, it is controlled by the genes. The process is controlled by the genes. That's why it is controlled by the genes. What is apomixis? Apomixis is a, the process of the formation of seeds or embryo without fertilization. Seeds are embryo produced without fertilization. Seeds or embryo produced without fertilization is known as uh, apomixis. What are the example for here apomixis? Astraci, Astraci family and uh, grasses. It is a family, Astraci family. You know best example sunflower, marigold, these plants are belongs to this family that is a uh, astraci. Okay, so it is a it is a process of the formation of seeds or embryo without fertilization is known as the apomixis. Okay, what are the depths of apomixis? These are mainly two types are there. One is a vegetative reproduction. Second one is the agamospermic. Spermy means here seed. Vegetative reproduction, you know already 
what is vegetative reproduction any vegetated part of the plant body that is either root stem or leaf so that is uh, that vegetated part is gives rise to the a new plants that is known as the vegetative reproduction what is here agamospermy here agamospermy means a gamma that is here the fusion of gametes is absent without fusion of gametes or without meiosis what happened here the seeds or embryos are developed that phenomenon is known as the here agamospermy spermy means seeds the seeds are produced without the fertilization of the without fertilization or meiosis there is no fusion of gametes the male and female gametes does not involved in the formation of the seeds that is known as the agamospermy further here the agamospermy is totally three types are there it is of three types first one is the recurrent apomixis non recurrent apomixis next one adventitive embryony adventitive embryony so first one here the recurrent apomixis means either the seed or embryo it is developed from the the diploid egg cell it is very very important the egg cell is generally haploid but the seed or embryo is developed from the diploid egg cell how the diploid egg cell is developed that is the failure of the the meiosis cell division in a megaspore mother cell when the meiosis cell division is not takes place the megaspore mother cell is directly gives rise to the a diploid embryo sac the diploid embryo sac is contain the a diploid egg cell here total the failure of the meiosis cell division that is uh, the recurrent apomixis and further these are two types are there one is diplospore second one is a uh, apospore what is diplospore the diplospore means here the embryo or seed is uh, that developed from the a diploid megaspore mother cell to end the embryo is developed from the diploid megaspore mother cell what about apospore here the embryo is developed from the a diploid the new cell or mother cell nmc to n the new cells cannot differentiated into megaspore mother cell directly the new cellular cell is gives rise to the embryo that is known as the apospore here the embryo is developed from the the diploid cell of the the new cellular mother cell here the embryo is developed from the the megaspore mother cell mmc means megaspore mother cell nms mc means the new cellular mother cell okay next one what are the best example for here the recurrent apomixis apple onion these are the best example for here the recurrent apomixis here a very important point here the development of the embryo is a diploid condition because the embryo is developed from the diploid cells what are the diploid cells here the megaspore mother cell and the, the new cell arm mother cell next one non recurrent apomixis here the embryo is completely developed from the haploid cells what are the haploid cells in the structure of the embryo sac one is egg cell 
synergid cells and the antipodals these cells are completely haploid that's why here the embryo is developed from the haploid cells what are the haploid cells here egg cell synergid cell and antipodals what about here the embryo is developed from the diploid cells megaspore mother cell and nucellar mother cell when the embryo is developed from nucellar mother cell that is apospore when the embryo is developed from the the megaspore mother cell that is known as the diplospore okay what about here non recurrent apomixis here the complete the embryo is developed from the haploid cells of the embryo sac what are the haploid cells of the embryo sac egg cell synergid cell and antipodals okay so that is known as the here non recurrent apomixis the best example for here citrus opentia these are the best example next one again here the non recurrent apomixis is a, the two types are there one is a apospore another one is the apogamy apospore and apogamy what is apospore again here what is apogamy so generally these two terms this kind of the seeds are uh, the embryo is developed in uh, the lower plants like pteridophytes and bryophytes first one here the sporophyte the sporophyte directly gives rise to the gametophyte that is uh, without meiosis without meiosis the sporophyte you know generally that is uh, diploid when the failure of the meiosis cell division in uh, the spore mother cell automatically the spore mother cell is directly gives rise to the a diploid gametophyte it is very very important so generally in plant body the sporophyte is the diploid gametophyte is the haploid but what about in this condition apospore the sporophyte is directly gives rise to the gametophyte without uh, meiosis cell division here there is no meiosis cell division in spore mother cell that's why that uh, the spore mother cell is directly gives rise to the gametophyte the spore mother cell is diploid automatically gametophyte is also diploid next one what is a apogamy the apogamy means uh, here the failure of the fusion of male and female gametes that's why here the gametophyte the gametophyte directly gives rise to the sporophyte the gametophyte is directly gives rise to the sporophyte without fertilization that is without fusion of male and female gametes that is the the gametophyte what is the main function of gametophyte the production of male and female gametes the here the male and female gametes does not involved in fertilization that's why here the gametophyte is directly gives rise to the sporophyte what is ploidy of the gametophyte haploid now what about here the sporophyte is developed from the apogamy which ploidy haploid here see so generally in flowering plants the sporophyte is diploid and the gametophyte is haploid what about in this condition of the apospore the diploid gametophyte is developed from the a diploid sporophyte here what about apogamy the diploid sorry haploid sporophyte is developed from the a haploid gametophyte in this condition so this is known as the here non recurrent 
affirm exist process. So that's why here the embryo is developed from the, the main haploid cells of the egg cell, synergy cell, antipodals and uh, antipodals. Again, it is uh, two types are there, apospory and uh, apogamy. What about here advantageous embryony? The advantageous embryony means the embryo is developed from the, the diploid tissue of the oval. What is the diploid tissue of the oval? Best example, nucellus. Second one, integuments. The nucellus and the integuments, these are the diploid. Now the embryo is developed from the nucellus or uh, that is uh, integuments that is known as the, the advantageous embryonic. Here also the best example citrus and uh, opuntia. Okay, here also best example bryophytes and pteridophytes. Why bryophytes and pteridophytes commonly here apospore and apogamy is common seen in bryophytes and pteridophytes that is apospore and apogamy. So that's why here this is a non-recurrent aphomexis, this is a recurrent aphomexis and it is a advantageous embryonic. These are a total the three different types of the agamospermy. Without fusion of uh, male and female gametes and uh, without meiosis cell division, the embryo or seed is uh, developed. This, so, this is uh, the different types of the aphomixis. See here generally, the megaspore mother cell, MMC. In normal condition, what happened? The megaspore mother cell is uh, 2N. It undergoes meiosis cell division. As a result of meiosis cell division, that is develop the megaspores. One of the functional megaspores, the megaspores are haploid. These megaspores are developed into the embryo sac. The embryo sac is a Aploid because it is developed from the haploid megaspore. Next one, the embryo sac is contained egg cell. Egg cell haploid. Now the fusion of male gametes. When the pollen tube is entered into the structure of the embryo sac. That is uh, the pollen tube is carrying by the two male gametes. One of the male gametes is fusion with uh, egg cell. As a result, a diploid zygote is developed. 2N. Because the fusion of two nucleus, two haploid nucleus, male gamete and egg cell. And further, the zygote is developed into the embryo. What is the ploidy of embryo? It is also deployed. Next, seed. 2N. The seed is germinated into the a new plant. The new plant body, the major plant body is known as the which one? Sporophyte. This is the normal condition. What about here? The without uh, meiosis cell division, and without fusion of gametes, what happened? That is from the aphomatic seeds. What are the aphomatic seeds? See here. First one, you take best example diplospory. MMC, megaspore mother cell, 2N. See, here without meiosis. So without meiosis, what happened? It gives rise to the megaspores. That is uh, 2N. 
embryo sac also 2n xl 2n see here there is no fusion of male and female gametes directly the xl is developed into the zygote zygote is developed into the embryo that's why here this is a diploid embryo without meiosis so that's why without meiosis directly here the megaspore mother cell is gives rise to the embryo sac embryo sac gives rise to the diploid egg cell the diploid cell egg cell is directly gives rise to the a diploid zygote and that is directly gives rise to the embryo embryo diploid embryo that is known as the diplospore okay you take in some conditions for example it is megaspore mother cell 2n okay here the meiosis cell division is takes place okay yes. and gives rise to the megaspores this is a uh, haploid because here the meiosis cell division is takes place in uh, the diploid tissue of the megaspore mother cell it is gives rise to the haploid embryo sac okay next one xl haploid xl haploid but no fusion of male gametes without fertilization without fertilization without fertilization the xl is developed into the h1 zygote that zygote is uh, which ploidy haploid and even embryo is also haploid see here this is non recurrent apomixis haploid egg cell directly gives rise to the which one haploid embryo here see the embryo diploid without meiosis cell division so this is the different types of the apomixis final here what is apomixis the seeds are embryo produced without fertilization or without meiosis cell division is known as apomixis next another concept polyembryony polyembryony poly means here many embryony means embryos the presence of more than one embryo in a seed is known as the polyembryony so generally one embryo is present in a seed because the embryo sac is contain only one egg cell after fertilization the egg cell is developed into the zygote zygote is further developed into the embryo that's why only one embryo is developed in a seed but what about in this condition polyembryony the occurrence of more than one embryo in a seed is known as the polyembryony why the polyembryony many embryos is developed in a seed what is the reasons okay so now first this term the polyembryony was introduced by the leven hook in case of citrus the citrus one seed is maximum they contain the 40 embryos single seed so that is the best example for here the polyembryony the presence of the more than one embryo in a seed is known as the polyembryony the main here the polyembryony is of main three types are there what is main three types of the polyembryony first one simple polyembryony
सिंपल पॉली एम्ब्रियोनिक सेकेंड वन क्लीवेज पॉली एम्ब्रियोनिक थर्ड वन एडवेंटेटिव पॉली एम्ब्रियोनिक सिंपल पॉली एम्ब्रियोनिक the cleavage polyembryony and adventative polyembryony these are main three types of the polyembryony now see here in simple polyembryony means here the main main more than one the more than one the embryo is developed from the the more than one egg cell why the more than one egg cell because you take for example one ovel they contain the more than embryo sacs each embryo sac they contain only single egg cell okay sometimes the main uh, one embryo sac they contain more than one egg cell this condition is uh, main leads to the here the simple poly embryony so finally here the embryo is developed from the embryo is developed from more than one egg cell more than one egg cell many egg cells are present in a ovel because the one ovel they contain number of the embryo sacs or the one embryo sac they contain many egg cells generally the one ovel they contain one embryo sac one embryo sac they contain one egg cell this is a very important in this conditions what happen additional egg cells also developed in a embryo sac that's why that egg cells also further developed into the embryos that's why more than embryos is developed in a see that condition is known as the poly embryon what are the best example for here the simple poly embryon example citrus casuarina okay poya it is belongs to the poaceae family grass that is one kind of grass next one the cleavage polyembryony see here the embryos is developed here embryos is developed from the pro embryo due to the cleavage splitting the splitting of pro embryo what have been single embryo that is pro embryo during the first initial stage of the embryo development what happened that is a splitting and then that is converted into the more than one embryos that is leads to the poly embryony okay that is known as the the cleavage poly embryony here the branching of the pro embryo each branching is developed into the one of the embryo that is leads to the the number of embryos are present in a seed so such kind of the poly embryony is known as the cleavage poly embryony the best example for the the cleavage poly embryony finas it is belongs to the gymnosperms it is very important point the poly embryony is common in gymnosperms and uh, some species of and your sperms the polyembryonic condition is common in gymnosperms under some species of angiosperms here the finest that is contained cleavage polyembryony under orchid orchid is uh, monocots it is belongs to the orchidaceae family next one adventitive polyembryony what is the adventative poly embryony here see the diploid tissue of the ovel what is the diploid tissue of the ovel nucellus integuments see here the ovel is also here main uh, 
the vowel parts of the nucellus and integuments these are also additional gives rise to the embryos such type of the polyembryony is known as the adventitive polyembryony for example this is the endosperm this is one embryo this is main embryo this is developed from the zygote that's why this is known as the zygotic embryo zygotic embryo next one what about this one see here this is a endosperm it is nutrient tissue the food material is supplied to the the developing of the embryo what about this one nucellus the nucellus is enclosed by the integuments see here this is the integument now total how many embryos is there only one embryo now see here one embryo See. what is name of this embryos the new cellular embryo why that is called new cellular embryo the embryo is developed from the which tissue new cells next one see here see these are also embryos this embryos is developed from integuments that's why this is called integumentary embryo integumentary embryo see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 number of embryos are developed in a single ovule after fertilization what happened the ovule is developed into the seed the seed is uh, contain number of embryos that's why the occurrence of the occurrence of more than one embryos in a seed is known as the which one poly embryony what are the best example for here the adventitious poly embryony example citrus also opentia okay onion mango and groundnut also these are all examples for here the adventitious poly embryony this is anyhow here the embryo is developed here main uh, the number of parts of the ovule here more than one egg cell that is uh, the pro embryos are splitting into the many embryos and here other parts of the ovule also gives rise to the embryos these are all conditions is responsible for the the presence of the more than one embryo in a seed that condition is known as the poly embryony so this is uh, the concept of the poly embryony next one the ploidy level in different parts of angiosperms the ploidy level in different parts of angiosperms see here this is very important for a competitive entrance examinations you know the general the angiosperms the major plant body is a sporophyte the sporophyte is diploid what are the major parts of the here the sporophyte first you take root 
stem leaf these are also deployed next flowers sepal petals these are also deployed next one stamens male reproductive organs stamens anther next anther inside pollen mother cell that related parts the pollen mother cell is also deployed next one carpel next one ovary okay ovary wall next one ovules after fertilization the ovules is developed into the seeds seeds also deployed what are the main parts of the here ovules new cellus okay the persistent new cellus is known as the perisperm integuments integuments next one secondary nucleus secondary nucleus nucleus integuments secondary nucleus next one mmc megaspore mother cell the megaspore mother cell is also which one deployed next one after fertilization the megaspore mother cell zygote embryo next one the embryonal axis two portions are there radical flimule next cotyledons cotyledons next one funiculus the stalk of the seed so these are all the main the parts of this sporophyte these are all parts also diploid condition what about gametophyte the gametophyte is a uh, haploid what are the major parts of the here the gametophytes see first one microspores microspores are nothing but pollen grains next one the pollen grains is contain two cells what is name of two cells tube cell haploid next one generative cell haploid next one megaspore megaspore is a haploid next one male and female gametes male and female gametes next one egg cell egg cell is haploid next one synergid cells haploid antipodals haploid next one last one polar nuclei is also haploid so in gametophyte these are main parts these are the all parts is contain haploid level 
these are all parts contain the diploid level what about the triploidy level in the plant body see here it is also very important triploid that is the first one pen the primary endosperm nucleus that is developed into the endosperm it is very important the endosperm in angiosperms is the triploid because it is a, the product of the triple fusion what about in gymnosperms in gymnosperms the endosperm is haploid because the endosperm are female gametophyte the endosperm is developed before fertilization in gymnosperms that is haploid but here triploid it is very important the difference between the endosperm in angiosperms and gymnosperms in gymnosperms the endosperm ploid is haploid but in angiosperms triploid one more is there aluron layer protein layer it is separated the endosperm and cotyledon in the monocot seeds it is also triploid in entire in angiospermic plant body only the two parts is only triploid one is endosperm another one is the aluron layer and the remaining all diploid haploid which parts are diploid sporophytic which parts are haploid gametophytic so based on this ploidy some numerical questions are given in a neat entrance examination that's why this ploidy levels are very important okay i hope that you can understood the concept of the sexual reproduction in flowering plants and later i will give the assignment based on this numerical questions okay bye students